players know what to do in an instant of a second inside a game, that goes for commentary as well. If a commentator knows this is, you know, this is the moment. Here comes the ice blast, ready for the dunk! And from the Ubers, it's a disaster! I do think that TI is very special for everyone. History of Dora is like written at TI. Navi is about to be caught. Oh, this could be a total disaster! Thank you, man! Ravage on everyone! The black hole as well! Light of heaven turns it around! Players and casters are making the history together, of course, but if you don't put voice on what we are doing, it's worthless. To me, what makes a great call at like TI is like, I'd say, a raw Jimmy emotion. Boxing in Ohio! Oh. Epi! Power strike on to two! There's Just not a way! way but them out the point down. is to tell the story of the fight. You have to be able to build up to it. That itself, it's a skill that I feel only a very few people have. Oh, but now the, the call! call. There! He stops it right in the tracks! They're gonna be able to take down two! And a third ball for me home! Evil geniuses! They see I think a good crowd is everything. At times, definitely to the point where you can't really hear the game sound. But it's always like an interesting challenge finding the balance between egging them on and feeding into that passion, but not letting it like completely wash you away. I always want to ride the wave into the crowd. If they're that loud, then I'm, I'm matching them. Like, I will try and keep up. Bulba wants to open up. Tucky's dragging him back. Nick's done. Holds Bulba away. Joe, nice low life. He can't Jakuchi. Nice. He can't Jakuchi. Liquid get first blood. That's what the thing is about classic good casting. Like, every single time, I still get goosebumps. Everything hangs in the balance. It all comes down to this. The last game of the international three finals between Alliance and Navi. Fifth game, everything on the line. One more game, two million dollars on the table. Winner, first place at the international, the ages and the prestige of being the best Dota 2 team in the world. The, the big one, the million dollar dream coil. Everybody remembers that place. I can remember every single word that Luminous is screaming. Alliance are doing it! They need a little more for those to fall! Don't! It's jeopardy! There's a glyph! It's going to be their last chance. All this hype is building. The TPs are canceled. The million dollar dream coil has already happened. They're pushing in. KKP! They want to do it! They're gonna do it! They're and it's just like, it. Alliance is doing it! They're the kings of the kings of the north! Alliance wins! They win TI3! The Alliance just won! 1.4 million dollars! Every time I think about it, I get the shivers. It's just so good! If you have the same game commentated by different people, it will be a very different story for each commentator because e each commentator will highlight something different. The way that Toby does Black Hole, the moment that Enigma is picked, he's like, okay, let's do this, I'm ready. You can see his whole face, it lights up. Even though the, it's become a meme and died as a meme, he still gets giddy. This is gonna be it, you can, he's ready for it. They're losing their Rama. Black Hole! Big one from Fly! Coming a follow up into a call! Let the spin scar dump one with a double kill! It's an accurate slam, it's a disaster! Toby is also really good at commentary because he used to do acting jobs, so he knows how to use his voice without depleting it. And I think the Korean commentators do that as well. They get singing lessons or voice lessons so that they can shout. There was some clip on YouTube, uh, the Korean casters, the hype level was, it wasn't just there, it was like here. <laughs> and it was just this boring farm fest that went on for forever. And meanwhile, there's just these two Korean casters that are going crazy over every little thing. Oh! They're bored out of their minds, but they're still yelling. They basically have to entertain uh, the entire uh, Korean audience or whoever was listening because the game was so dull. Oh my god, I love that clip so much. Austin Major. At Finem versus OG. It was the grand finals. It was an insane game. We're playing against Mega Creeps. This was OD Pixel's moment. He starts talking on the microphone. He says some stupid shit. It makes no sense. Is he, is he going no, for it? No, he's not. He is. No, he's he not. is going no, for it. No, no, no. Oh my god! <laughs> Anything he said would have gone down in Dota 2 history. And God, if it wasn't the perfect uh, response to that moment.
The best commentators are the ones that can actually entertain the crowd and more importantly create the memories. When that one amazing play comes along, you have to elevate that to become memorable for eternity.